just a little rant about twin flames. During my process, I came to the conclusion at one point that the person that I was involved with was not good for me, not healthy, and had some toxic traits and took many steps towards finding myself again and going through the um, awakening journey. And somewhere along that journey, as I was searching for information, I came across this whole mission of Twin Flame. Now prior to that, prior to joining a group that was Twin Flame dedicated, and at that time I didn't know what a Twin Flame was, I didn't really understand the quote-unquote Twin Flame concept, but it seemed that there was a rather large group of people quite strongly opinionated about the fact that they were, in fact, a twin flame. And upon further investigation, I kind of determined that um, this specific journey is meant to be somewhat volatile, to teach you about yourself. You are really the same person that has been kind of split apart, <coughs> but you are one. And you are part to find yourself, to grow in areas that you needed work, and then eventually to come back together in some major union a spiritually guided union that is to assist in be the anchor for the ascension journey and process and right now in this point in time it's a very sacred journey but right now in this point in time it's a journey of uh, energy supporting this journey. So I'm thinking, okay, I've never really heard about this concept. Now I, I did some research and I understand the rationale behind the concept. But it just seemed to me that there's an awful lot of people who seem to be part of this very, very unique and very rare occurrence, very rare journey. It seemed to me in my intuitive mind that it, there, there was, it, it didn't seem rational. But then I started thinking about my journey and I thought, well, maybe all of this experience with this person that I was with, which really was so toxic that it led me um, to my darkest places and almost to my death. But somewhere along the line, I thought, well, maybe because there was a very deep connection there. Maybe this person is my twin flame. Maybe there is hope. So I started veering backwards almost to thinking that they are going to, they're, they're not where I'm at because I just been through this big long process of uh, awareness, consciousness from almost dying, um, awakening, and into uh, 5D activation. So my awareness is at its highest point, 
And this person's, my understanding of, of this person became very, very clear. So I could see, um, once I became conscious, I could see the deceit. I could see where there was untruth that maybe I had not seen before because I was very unconscious. And I wanted to be, in a sense, unconscious about the truths that were actually there. So it really made me second guess um, this whole experience. And it made me backtrack um, a lot in my healing process because I was receiving hope um, from so many different sources that seemed to be colliding on this twin flame journey. And, you know, I'm not a spring chicken, so I've certainly been around um, for a while, we'll say. And I, I'm not looking at this from a very uh, immature life experience perspective. Um, I'm a very rational thinker. I, you know, I have access to a lot of um, higher consciousness information. But it seemed in conflict with um, all of this attention to twin flame. So I was second guessing myself. And it was everywhere. It was on every channel. It was on every, um, in every single reading. Um, there was so many people dedicated to finding their twin flame or um, hoping that their twin flame healed enough to be with them that it was just um, unbelievable, really, to me, the number of people. Now, I came to some major realizations in my particular journey, and that was um, I did not value myself. I did not have self-love. Since, since that time, I have spent... Um, for years uh, researching and understanding um, exactly what the um, psychological behavior is behind toxic relationships, um, behind um, codependency, behind narcissism, behind a lack of self-love, behind ego, to um, seek understanding because that's my nature to delve into um, the depths of figuring out what this means in the bigger picture and as I did this I became more and more clear to me that um, I was involved in a very very toxic relationship but was in denial and I was following a pattern of um, codependency and, and self-love deficiency that had been with me since childhood. And the reason I uh, attracted this particular person is because I was following an example that uh, my parents set for me. And that was really what I thought I deserved. And I, I didn't see it because there was a lot of very there was a lot of, of giving and goodness in the relationship. Um, but I knew underneath it all, I knew, I knew there was red flags everywhere that this wasn't right, but I chose to ignore it. So I tried to separate from that relationship and then I got pulled into this whole twin flame story. And I really started to think about this because I know now that, um, you know, he never, as much as I worked with the situation, understanding it, um, providing feedback, I was uh, uh, simply a source of entertainment. Um, I provided psychological support because I, you know, I always um, came from an emotionally balanced standpoint when it came to other people's lives. Um, <laughs> but it, it, it just, it, it, it sort of came to me that. This whole twin flame uh, experience was such a well-planned 
um, strategic tactic on someone's uh, quote behalf um, overall I'm not talking about me but um, the amount of people that can be I mean they are controlling the our Academy Award winning actors some some of um, these people claiming to be um, in love with you and who some may think is a twin flame and led you to believe that they're a twin flame because the moments together can be so extremely close and passionate and then you start to think that they're a twin flame but um, there's it's such a rare thing and then you're hoping for them to heal and then you realize that they're never actually going to change which you've been told over and over and over again um, but are in denial about and it's almost like there's this conspiracy to for people to believe in the twin flame to support the manipulative tactics that they bring to the table um, not only from a personal one-on-one -on -one standpoint but also from a um, a more integrated higher higher consciousness perspective I mean they're not in higher consciousness but they can use people um, readers and others um, for that purpose and uh, many of the inexperienced readers I believe um, so many not I'm not talking about just readers but I'm just talking in general I'm um, being open to the, the vision of this because it's such a lovely romantic concept and it's such a weak point in 99% of anybody who is an empath the romantic journey um, that oh this is going to come to a loving beautiful end this is what the universe has in store for me so believing that was easier than accepting the truth about this person that this person being someone who really doesn't have um, the emotional ability to actually um, love you um, they just want to love you because you love them so it's it was all about control but this under you know this 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 manipulation carried through to even to, to, to higher levels bringing many of us fooling many of us myself included that oh this is a twin flame journey they are going to heal um, and many people um, allowing the crap to continue trusting in this vision and this dream of twin flame and um, it's it's frightening really because this is this is something that we need to be very careful of going forward now if somebody is treating you um, disrespectfully devaluing you um, not respecting you in any way or maybe sometimes when it's a good time to do it when they are are one thing to one person and a different to you in, in private then this is not a twin flame this is part of the catalyst for your awakening as painful as it is some people are here to expose the pain and and many of the um, the uh, the unawakened or the quote-unquote narcissist type personalities can't cope with the pain so they they use you know uh, other means to try and uh, project it and, and not hold on to it so it, it, it is a vicious kind of circle so I guess my point being is if you are in a relationship that is that is unhealthy that you know like 
the signs are there, but you're you're still listening to this, going, no, it's 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 all good. He's going to no. Because what we all deserve is respect and emotional maturity in people. Yes, you can help them. You know, there's a healthy helping people. And it's usually you help them and you they help you in some way, right? But you're connected at, at an emotional understanding level. You know, you get it. So that's like the healthy relationship. So many of us are fooled into believing that um, through their tactics, that that is a healthy relationship because that may be what we experienced as, as a child and are holding on to, but still don't accept that that was the case. Now this can happen, you know, um, in very... Um, abandonment doesn't have to be extreme but when you get continually emotionally torn um, in childhood you're never really seen um, that's kind of what you, you carry forward and uh, many um, people will play on that weakness so be very very careful in who you actually listening to um, how much, how much to put on the twin flame, quote unquote, journey? Because it may or may not be true. I don't know. I wish I could tell you that it was and I'm living happily ever after with my twin flame. And that, that may happen. I don't know how you, you know, depends on how you want to label this concept. Personally, I'm looking for a best friend. Um, to me... I felt like now I've learned enough lessons. I don't, I, 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 I don't really even care what you call it. <laughs> um, but there's manipulation occurring at levels that is quite impressive. So um, be extremely careful what you're following and um, trusting in yourself. Be very careful. I don't mean that in fear or fashion. I just mean in your own, in your own self, because, you know, it can redirect your energy into a uh, um, hopeful energy of um, memories of the past. Uh, it can be like that again, and I'm here to tell you it can't. It can't be like that again. People continually change. So. Um, you do what you do. I'm just giving you my perspective because I think in some respects it's still this, 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 it's still trying to derail us and keep us focused not on where we all know we need to go and what we're working towards. It's still trying to derail us into past experiences. That's all. Thanks for listening. Bye.